Hey guys, just wanted to show off my newest variation of my armor, uh, of my fashion. Um, so like I've said before, I pretty much have been using <clears throat> uh, Royal Knight armor since like launch of Elden Ring in 2022. Um, and I've usually been pairing that with Lionel Greaves, but we have some different uh, options in the DLC. And I've explored with some other chess pieces, but I've been noticing I've been taking a little bit more damage than I would like to. Um, partly because of the effects those armors have, and then also just they have lower defenses than my, than my, my original armor. So I'm thinking about coming back to <clears throat> Royal Knight armor. I, plus, I just really like the way this looks anyway. Um, but for the legs, I'm using the Greaves of Solitude. And I think they kind of go well with this armor. They're, like, not the same color, but they're, like, both kind of grayish silver. Um, so I think it kind of compl complements it nicely. And, uh, and the legs actually have really good stats. Uh, and then scaled gauntlets. I'm going with these um, instead of gauntlets of solitude. Mostly because <clears throat> I am getting uh, something lighter on my arms here. Um, but I'm still able to meet the poise breakpoint I want, which is 89 poise. <clears throat> and, uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, if you have not beat, uh, beaten the DLC yet. <clears throat> but, um, there is this headpiece that you get from beating the final boss. Which is great, because it doesn't, like, you can still see your character's face and everything, which is awesome. Um, and its stats are really nice for its weight. Like, its, its weight is the same weight as this leather headband, but as you can see, it has, it's better in every single way. <clears throat> and it also has this other benefit, which is it slightly boosts intelligence, faith, and arcane, while also boosting power of Mikolo's light. I'm guessing that's Mikolo's incantations. Um, the intelligence, faith, and arcane it's slightly boost means it just adds, it's just uh, one point in each one of those uh, stats. So, as you can see, if I take this off, you see my stats over there. It's like, yeah. So that's how I'm able to still hit my uh, 50 faith that I want to hit. <clears throat> um, but also, hugely, if you've not seen it yet, this headband has five poise dude that's nuts for for its weight three extra poise on top of this five poise that's awesome so that means <clears throat> i basically have just gotten like three extra poise for free um, so i'm able to wear a little bit lighter stuff and still hit my break point which allowed me to kind of get my stats a little bit easier how i wanted them um, and so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I can make all the swaps I want now without having to like worry about not having the stat, the strength stats for it. <clears throat> um, and I really like the look of this. I think it look, goes really well. And I think the headband actually really complements this build because of, I mean, just from aesthetics, just because this is a this is a faith build. And this is kind of like, I don't know, I think it fits the aesthetic. Also, cool little feature about the headband. If you go in a dark place, or a dark room, or it's nighttime out. If you go up in like a shadowed area, it glows in the dark, dude. <laughs> How cool is that? How cool is that? It glows. That's so cool. So yeah, anyways, very happy with how this turned out. Um, happy with my with my fashion and my um, stats and stuff, so 
I'm probably going to do some uh, a little bit extra cleanup around the DLC. Um, there's still one boss I still need to beat, which is, um, spoiler alert, it's the boss of this red area here. Uh, Bale, I think is his name. The dragon. Oh, it's up here. Boss over here. <clears throat> um, still need to beat him. Um, but that should be okay. <clears throat> and then after that, I'm probably just going to, like, do a bunch of co-op with other people. Like, just help randos out. Maybe do a little bit of PvP. Um, and then I'm eventually going to start bringing my other characters through the DLC. For my other characters, I plan on just, like, not doing it solo. I'm probably just going to, like, summon and, like, use Spirit Ashes and all that stuff during boss fights for my other characters. <clears throat> but, um... Because I already did everything solo for this character, so I don't I don't mind getting help getting help on the the other characters just to save time. Um, but yeah, pretty much done with the DLC, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, happy with how things turned hey. out. So, um, yep. Anyway, hope you guys have a good rest of your day.